Was it ever really a star? This is the question now echoing through the halls of astronomy. A question whispered about a tiny distant flicker of light named Arendelle. For a brief, brilliant moment we thought we had found it. The oldest, most distant single star ever seen. A solitary beacon shining across 12.9 billion years of cosmic history, a survivor from the universe's infancy. We gave it a name that means Morning Star, a fitting title for a point of light from the dawn of time. But the universe, as it so often does, had a surprise waiting for us. The story of Arendelle is not just about one star, it's about how science works, how we observe, how we question, and how we peel back the layers of reality, one discovery at a time. To grasp the excitement surrounding Arendelle, you have to understand what it represents. This isn't just any point of light in the night sky. Arendelle, first spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope, appeared to be a star from a very special era. It existed when the universe was less than a billion years old, a mere toddler in cosmic terms. Think about that. The light from this object began its journey to us long before the Earth was formed, long before our sun ignited, traveling across an expanding universe for nearly 13 billion years. Finding a single star from this epoch is like finding a single preserved fossil of the very first creature to walk on land. It's a direct window into the dawn of everything we know. The early universe was a different place. The first stars, known as Population 3 stars, were thought to be giants, hundreds of times more massive than our sun. The discovery was made possible by a phenomenon Einstein predicted a century ago, gravitational lensing. Imagine a massive object like a galaxy cluster, sitting between us and a distant light source. The immense gravity of the cluster acts like a cosmic magnifying glass, bending and amplifying the light from behind it. It was a stroke of cosmic luck, a perfect alignment across billions of light years that gave us this unprecedented peak into the past. And then came the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, the JWST is not just an upgrade, it's a revolution. Its massive 6.5-meter golden mirror, a honeycomb of 18 hexagonal segments, is designed to capture light from the faintest, most distant objects in the universe. More importantly, it is optimized to see in the infrared spectrum. This is the crucial part of the story. The light from Arendelle, which started as brilliant blue and ultraviolet light 12.9 billion years ago, has been stretched by cosmic expansion so much that by the time it reaches us, it falls squarely in the infrared. For Webb, seeing Arendelle isn't a struggle, it's what it was built to do. Where Hubble squinted to see a faint reddish dot, Webb opened its wide golden eye and saw it with stunning clarity. The first Webb observations of Arendelle were a moment of truth. Astronomers around the world held their collective breath. The initial data from Webb was spectacular. It confirmed Arendelle's extreme distance and its incredible brightness. But Webb's instruments, like the near-infrared camera, did more than just see the object they could dissect its light. As the Webb telescope's sharp infrared eyes focused on Arendelle, the beautiful simplicity of the single star hypothesis began to crumble. The new data, rich with detail, painted a more complex picture. Webb's instruments revealed colors that were not entirely consistent with a single massive star. While Arendelle is indeed a B-type star, a hot blue giant many times more massive and luminous than our sun, the light signature suggested the presence of a companion but the plot thickens. Some analyses of the web data suggest that Arendelle might not be just a binary system. It could be the brightest member of a small, fledgling star cluster. What Hubble saw as a single point of light, Webb may be resolving into a tight-knit family of stars, too compact to be distinguished by any previous telescope. The morning star might actually be a morning constellation. This isn't a failure of the Hubble telescope or a retraction of a major discovery. Instead, it's a beautiful demonstration of the scientific method in action. This is how we build knowledge, brick by brick, observation by observation, with each new tool allowing us to see the universe in a new light. Arendelle has become a cosmic textbook, teaching us how to be better detectives in our quest for cosmic origins. We stand at a remarkable moment in human history. For millennia, we have looked up at the stars and wondered. The story of Arendelle is not just for astronomers, it's for everyone. It's a story about our collective quest for knowledge, about our desire to understand our origins, you are made of stardust, forged in the hearts of long-dead stars. The mystery of Arendelle is, in a very real sense, a part of your own origin story. What do you think of this cosmic revelation? Does it make the universe feel more or less wondrous to know that our first glimpse into the dawn of time revealed not a lone star, 
but a stellar family. We invite you to become part of this conversation. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What other cosmic mysteries captivate your imagination? Whether it's black holes, dark matter, or the search for life beyond Earth, your curiosity is a vital part of this journey. We encourage you to like this video if you found it enlightening, subscribe to stay updated on the latest breakthroughs, and share it with others who might be inspired by the grandeur of the cosmos. Thank you for taking the time to journey with us to the edge of the visible universe. Thank you for your curiosity and your sense of wonder. Keep looking up. The greatest discoveries are still out there, waiting to be found, and we are the generation that gets to find them.